Hi everyone, I'm Jess from First Mile. We're back for a live today with Ella from Top Up Truck. The refill store that fits to your door. Oh, well done. Um, come with us. We'll show you everything. So we've got lots of questions for Ella today, all about the truck. Um, so yeah, if you just want to start telling us of what is Top Up Truck, um, Top Up Truck, what products you've got. So as you said, we are the refill store that floats to your door. So you can basically book us on our website and we will rock up on your street or your office or church or whatever, wherever you want us. And um, we can top you up with all of your um, products that you see here. Um, and when did you launch it? It's brand, brand new actually. So we yeah. launched um, about three weeks ago, I think. Amazing. It's about the days, but something yeah. like that. <laughs> Um, so if someone wants to book you and want you to come to my street, how would it work? Yeah, so it's super easy. Uh, you just go on the website and there's a booking form and you just fill it in with all your details. Um, we're mainly focusing on E5, E8 and E9. We have been known to sneak out of that area as we've done today, but, uh, but yeah. Great. Um, and do you want to take us through all the products you've got? Yeah, absolutely. Where you buy them? Yeah, so... I'm actually partnered with Restore in Hackney Down Studios, so um, all of the products, or well, the very vast majority of the products are going to be exactly the same at the same price as what you see um, on Restore, so I buy through Restore. Um, and then, yeah, we've got um, flour, we've got pasta, quinoa, we've got lentils, oats, rice, toilet paper, um, tin tomatoes, all sorts of more different varieties of lentils, some British grown ones, we've got muesli, we've got nuts, spices, seeds, um, we've got the vegan pick and mix that you can see in the front and some nice dried fruit, popcorn, olive oil, rapeseed oil, tea, Amazing. coffee and then through the back um, we've got some refill liquids for your home and your bathroom um, so yeah we've got um, laundry liquid, washing up liquid, hand sanitizer, hand soap, shower gel, mm -hmm. you name it, we've probably got it, possibly. <laughs> amazing. Um, and this amazing mini truck, what's the story behind it? Well, it's actually an old milk float. So um, it's about 20 years old and it used to be part of the Milk and More fleet. Um, but it's been off the road for some time and it's fully electric so it's got quite a lot of batteries here and on the other side and um, and yeah we just charge it up twice a week and I'll forget. Amazing! Um, and how did you get the idea for this? Did you just wake up one day and you're like oh my gosh <laughs> this is what I'm going to do? Yeah. Um, no I mean it was a few different things. Um, it was, I've been working in sort of food and sustainability for a while now and um, and essentially I was kind of thinking of ways of how to design packaging waste out of the supply chain because I myself you know found it difficult to actually get to the plastic free shop and I thought there must be an easy way of doing this um, and so I saw that kind of idea had been buzzing around my mind for a while um, and then coupled with that when I was um, put on furlough and um, I was kind of doing cycle drops for an organisation made in Hackney and I was going around um, to different emergency meals and really enjoying kind of being out there in the community yeah. and sort of talking to people and I thought we could just bring this all together. Yeah. This was born. <laughs> and so is this now, is this what you do full time? Or do you do, have you got any other side yeah, hustles? Yeah, so uh, well this is, this is still currently a side hustle but okay. um, I am also working for this company uh, Ruby's in the rubble, so um, Ruby's in the rubble make condiments from surplus produce that would otherwise go to waste. It's kind of wonky. Um, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Um, and obviously, you know, this is all up my street. I normally go to refill stores and stuff like that. But what has the response been, especially with COVID? With people much more aware of, you know, what they're buying, what they're eating. That. What's, what's the response been? I mean the response has been incredibly positive like so many people have just come up to us on the street um, when they've kind of seen us when we've gone for a booking and it's just been like this is incredible like we need more of this yeah. and how has this not existed previously because it's you know it's quite an intuitive idea I think really just to sort of if people if people want packaging design just to send things all the way down yeah. the supply chain so it's kind yeah. of um, yeah it's been like overwhelmingly positive. Yeah. 
Um, and at the moment, you said, you said you're in Hackney, and if you're in Hackney, obviously today we're in my land. <laughs> Is there a plan to expand across London? Like, have you got people from like West London? Like, oh my God, this is amazing! You know, come West, come West. Yeah. So um, yeah, we've had quite a lot of people actually get in touch with us on Instagram, like, ah, oh, when are you launching in my area? And it's like, whoa, we've yeah. literally just launched yeah. in Hackney. But that's obviously fantastic to hear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've had people people saying um, loads of people from North London. People even approach me about um, wanting to franchise it out. So there's definitely. Oh, wow. Um, there's definitely thoughts there, but obviously really just trying to see how it goes in yeah. Hackney, build it up, yeah. do a really good service in one area before thinking about yeah. that. Because okay. with all the food, so you partner with, with um, Restore, and then with like your shower gel, shampoo and stuff, do you partner with a specific company as well? So it's just everything's from Restore, so this okay. is just a oh, sort right, of slim okay. down range of, um, of what you see in Restore. There'll be a few yeah. bits that I might want to get on the float that might work yeah. better. Um, that, that Megan, who runs Restore, won't want to have in Restore, but yeah. large, by and large, it's exactly the same. Okay. And can you please tell our audience why is Refill the way forward? I mean, it's just the way that we all need to be going. Like, there's an enormous amount of plastic in our oceans. There was a report that came out recently, where I think it was uh, estimated at about ten times the amount of plastic as was previously considered is currently in our oceans, and it's just, um, you know, we just we we've got into a really bad habit of just thinking it's absolutely fine to yeah. so just use single-use plastic and that's kind of happened over the last 50 years and this is actually this is kind of going back to how things were previously um, which just makes a lot more sense yeah um, and so let's say I'm, I'm brand new to this it's a bit overwhelming I want to become plastic free packaging free what would your top tips be for like a complete beginner yeah, well I, I recommend, I mean a lot of people think like, oh I'm not ready to book you or whatever, or to go plastic because I need to go, I need to go to Habitat and buy like a million jars or something like that, and that's just not true at all, like um, we sell little reusable cotton bags on here, you can you can use plastic bags, I've, you know, had people use dog poo bags, <laughs> um, clean ones obviously, uh, <laughs> um, but you know, if you get any old jar, if, say you just buy some rubies and the rubber products yeah. and then you could just You've got a really good tip actually for getting the labels off. You put a little bit of uh, baking soda, a little bit of cooking oil, takes ah. the label right off. Um, and then those can become what you put your seeds and nuts and fruit in. Um, so yeah, I mean just getting your having your containers kind of like washed and ready and building up a little collection yeah. of them. Obviously simple things like um, getting a reusable bottle or kind of mm -hmm. like using taking a bag out with you. It doesn't even have to be, have to be like a fancy tote bag, it can just be a plastic bag that you've yeah. used before. Yeah, just always having it on you in case you know, Yeah, just something. being a bit yeah. more prepared and yeah. planning it in. Um, and what would you say has been, I know it's only been three weeks, yeah. but is there, have you noticed like people always go for a certain product or something that you sell more than anything else? Yeah, I mean the liquids are probably yeah. are by, by far the biggest seller and I think that's just the sort of thing that um, it's quite heavy to to get all your like washing up liquid yeah. and your um, laundry liquid, fabric conditioner, everything, and yeah. take that back. So I think that's where people see the yeah. most benefit yeah. in um, in kind of refilling that. Um, but yeah, and then obviously people eat a lot. People love pasta as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Um, and I've actually brought um, my shower gel. So I was wondering if we could Great. do a live demo. Well done. Yes, absolutely. My, my shower gel. Of course. Mm -hmm. It's washed and ready. Yeah. Um, yeah, so with this, obviously the uh, mills are on the bottle. Yeah, I think it's 400. Yeah. It's 400 yeah. indeed. Mm. <laughs> this could be really awkward. <laughs> And where are the the washes and everything sourced from? So where where are the what sources? The, from, the body washes and all the yeah. So we use um, a couple of uh, a couple of suppliers or three suppliers actually for the various different liquids. So I'm just going to wait for that to go down. <laughs> um, so um, we use a company called Coal and Co. who are based in Wales, um, and we use a company called Phil for the um, like hand soap and uh, laundry detergent and stuff like that. Um, they're really brilliant, like they are completely kind of closed loops, so they go into Megan's shop with a big 
pump and okay. fill up on an electric vehicle and fill up um, so there's kind of no all the way up fill fill okay yeah, yeah. Um, so um, and yeah there's a company called Sessi that make our all purpose tools well. okay. let's check in with the so yeah we're getting there I mean it does it you know all of this does make people have to sort of slow down I suppose which is um, which is what people really have to kind of get in their minds to adapt to. I think everyone's so used to everything being so fast and so immediate and kind of like yeah. grab it, go, yeah. being in a hurry that, um, you know, we can all benefit from just slowing down a little bit. Oh, how are we going there? <laughs> cool. We've had know? one oh. slightly off topic, but funny question. <laughs> Does your um, horn make a, a nice sound, like a nice cream? You want to hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does it? I did it, it works. It's not like an ice cream pan, no. I mean, this is a really good answer. Oh. <laughs> so we know loud and clear that you're here. Cool, well, while I wait for my body wash, I'm going to wrap it up. Ella, oh, thank, thank you, you very much. much. If anyone wants to find you, so topuptruck.com and your Instagram is at topuptruck. Yeah, right. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Bye.